Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dinger, bringing you another fantastic blog. And today I'm talking to you about the top three ways to find motivated sellers. Now this blog is going to be best suited for my good old realtors out there, so you guys have to listen in, and all of you real estate investors that are looking for bargain properties. So let's get it started. So before we get started guys, I wanna make something very, very clear to you. You have to understand that real estate is a numbers game. So what do I mean by that? This is what I mean. It just comes down to how many phone calls are you going to make every single day? How many emails are you going to send? How many meetings are you willing to attend? How many hands are you willing to shake? How many business cards are you willing to exchange? How many offers are you willing to submit? And how many hours are you willing to work every single day to succeed in real estate. Guys, it truly is a numbers game. You have to work hard. There is no magic pill, okay? And that leads me into the first thing. And the first thing how you can find motivated sellers is FSBOs. Now, for all of you realtors out there, I strongly suggest jump on fsbo.com and cold call the people. I mean, you gotta smile and dial, guys. You have to get good with the phones. So cold call these folks, introduce yourself. You don't necessarily have to sell them on anything right there and then. Just tell them that you care. Tell them they've priced their wrong prop. Tell them that they've priced their property wrong. Give them some kind of advice. Tell them what's going on in the area and follow up with them once a week, once every three weeks, whatever it may be. Build the relationship. For all of my real estate investors out there, guys, a lot of these folks that are listing their homes via fsbo.com, or even when you're driving um, for dollars through the area, you'll find FSBO signs. A lot of these folks are trying to be tight on saving money by not paying a realtor a commission, but a lot of the time, that's the wrong move because they have priced the property wrong, which gives you the opportunity, especially if you're a cash buyer, to give them a quick cold call, get in there, offer a low ball cash offer, quick close, and they might just accept it, okay? So besides FSBO guys, check out Craigslist. I bought 34 properties myself in 2014 just by stalking Craigslist every single day. For realtors, cold call Craigslist ads, you never know, you might just get a listing. For real estate investors, guys, know the numbers in the area, know what a distressed property needs to sell for, know what a comparable renovated sale um, uh, sales for in the area, and then when an opportunity presents itself, once again, smile and dial, pick up the phone, react quickly, offer cash, close quickly, and you'll get some bargain deals. So let's get to the second thing. And guys, the second thing that I believe realtors and investors can use is direct mail. I mean, yellow letter campaigns, guys, they are super powerful. And right now, pretty much 70% of all of my inventory that I buy is through yellow letter campaigns. So what you need to do there guys, is this is what you need to do. You need to send yellow letters to absentee homeowners because the likelihood of these guys wanting to sell their home is super high. Why? Because it's literally impossible to successfully manage or own real estate out of state and country. A lot of people are tired of the constant headaches, being far away, not knowing what's going on. They want to list their home with you, if you're a realtor, and potentially get it sold via the MLS. Or if you're a cash buyer, a real estate investor, they will sell it to you at a discount just because you can close quickly. So the second thing, guys, is yellow letter campaigns. In my opinion, they are the most powerful way of finding motivated sellers that will want to list their property with you or sell it to you at a discount. And the last but not least one, guys, and this, I'm sorry my fellow realtors has to exclude you out of it, but with that being said, you should work with some real estate investors just like me that can buy volume and by us buying volume, make you a lot of money. So, my real estate investors out there, the MLS. Now, you guys, what you need to do there, I know, I get it. The deals are gone, everyone's bidding on the MLS, there's too much competition, but if you throw enough mud on the wall, eventually some will stick. So make sure you establish a relationship with a realtor that is patient, that understands the game that a real estate investor plays, and that is willing to work with you for the long haul. What I suggest you do is you get them, or even yourself, by scour the, scour the MLS every single day. And I mean, look at what's being listed, look what's going on in the market, and submit offers every single day. Remember, we said it's a numbers game. How many offers are you willing to submit? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to lowball every single offer, but you have to be a cash buyer. 
Now, with that said, 99 times out of 100, you will get pretty nasty replies. So please have thick skin because you're not going to like what you're going to hear from a lot of these folks. Now, that one time out of 100, the seller will be willing to play ball. And if they are willing to play ball, you know you've got a deal. Have the cash handy because you're going to have to close quickly. Alrighty? And that, my friends, is how you'll find a ton of great motivated sellers. If you're a realtor or a real estate investor, these are some of the platforms that I utilize to find all of my deals. And these are some of the platforms how I have found some absolutely smacking awesome deals. And I'm talking about buying properties for 10 to 20 cents on the dollar. I've made 50 to $70,000 um, on, on real estate deals, um, which were kind of my higher range um, profit margins on some of them in the past. And they all came through these methods. So um, that pretty much concludes my blog for today. Um, any of you other experienced real estate investors out there, if you have any other ways that you buy properties um, and that you find motivated sellers, please let me know. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'd love to know about the lists. What kind of lists do you utilize? I mean, we like to use absentee homeowners, uh, homeowner lists. We like to use lists where folks have been living in their homes for over 20 years because the likelihood of them downsizing or moving to a warmer climate, we're based in Ohio, is also pretty high. So I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below. Let's get some comments going. Um, I'm going to shut up now. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Angela Rumora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. You guys have a great day.